Hello and welcome everyone to the Drishti IAS English YouTube channel. In the, today's episode of Environment Primer, we are going to ponder upon a very important question. The title of our today's discussion is, Can Artificial Rain Fix Delhi's AQI? So, you all know that Delhi is reeling under severe air pollution and before uh, Diwali, what happened was we received natural rain. Hence, the air quality in Delhi on Diwali was very clean. But what did we do? We flouted all of the firecrackers ban and hence the AQI has again slipped into very poor category. So, in this discussion, we will be firstly studying about what is artificial rain. We are also going to see the benefits of having artificial rain. Then we are also going to ponder upon the disadvantages of artificial rain. We are also going to analyze the costs of inducing artificial rain. And then we will try to find an answer to our question today that can artificial rain actually fix Delhi's AQI. And in the end we are going to see a practice question for your prelims examination and a practice question for your mains examination. So, if I talk about the background of our today's topic, the Delhi government has recently conducted a study with IIT Kanpur's expert, IIT Kanpur experts and they have suggested that yes, the condition is right in Delhi to conduct artificial rain. This step has been taken after the Supreme Court has rebuked the Delhi government on increasing air pollution. So, the Delhi government is planning artificial rain on November 2021. November 2021. Okay. So, this brings us to the question that what is artificial rain that I am talking about? So, artificial rain process is also known as cloud seeding process. Cloud seeding process. Okay. So, what happens in this, if I talk about it uh, in layman terms, in very layman terms, it means that we are shooting uh, rain causing particles in the cloud. So, if I talk about artificial rain or cloud seeding, it is a technique that speeds up the condensation of moisture in clouds to create rain and that is why we are uh, stating this as artificial rain. The prerequisite for conducting artificial rain is the cloud should already have 40% of moisture content in them and then only we can in induce artificial rain and what happens is we use certain particles such as sodium iodide, potassium iodide and dry ice. We shoot these particles into the clouds and this process is known as seeding. This process is known as seeding and what happens is due to the shooting of these particles or due to the seeding of these particles. The water vapor condenses around small particles to form the droplets that make up a cloud and these droplets collide and grow as they get heavy and the cloud gets saturated and therefore it causes rainfall. So, this is the basic you know process of having artificial rain or conducting artificial rain. It is done by spraying particles of salt like silver iodide or chloride on clouds using planes or dispersion devices on the ground. So, this was the whole process of uh, you know conducting artificial rains and please remember that this process is known as cloud seeding. Now, let me show a pictorial representation of artificial rain or the process of artificial rain. So, this image has been sourced from the BBC and it uh, states how artificial rain work. So, first step is clouds are injected with salts like silver or potassium iodide through air or generators on the ground. So, either we are using the aeroplanes to seed the particles or we are using disperse, uh, dispersing devices on the ground to seed these particles into the clouds. Then the second step is the salt set as a catalyst to combine water droplets in clouds. The third step being the water droplets convert into snowflakes and while falling reaches the melting point and hence causing rainfall. So, this is what I was explaining to you before also and this is a pictorial representation of how artificial rain is induced. Now, let us analyze the benefits of having this artificial rain. So, if I talk about the benefits of having this artificial rain, they are, they help in dispersing air pollution and reducing the concentration of dust, smoke, smoke, uh, smog, haze and chemicals. So, what happens in Delhi is, Delhi is a landlocked uh, city, okay. And what happens is the wind speeds are reduced in winters and that is why the dust particles are not able to settle down or are not able to disperse, they stay suspended in the air and that is why rain is required to disperse them. 
and that is why the Delhi government is planning to induce artificial rain. So, this is the biggest advantage of artificial rain that it will help in dispersing the dust particles that are suspended in the air. Okay. It is one of the ways to consider to improve rainfall quantity in rain deficient areas. It can benefit in agricultural process by providing moisture for crops. Sometimes it also helps in controlling prevailing weather conditions that is happening currently if you talk about Delhi. And it also makes a dry state livable. So, these are all of the benefits of, you know, having an artificial rain conducted. In India, if you ask me, this is happening for the very first time for pol pollution control. For previously, we have used artificial rain for droughts, etc. But if you talk about the pollution control, yes, this is happening for the very first time. Now, let us discuss the disadvantages of these uh, artificial rains that the experts are arguing about. So, the disadvantages are for cloud seeding to be successful, suitable meteorological conditions are required. So, as I have mentioned uh, it to you before also, the prerequisite is that the clouds should already have 40% of moisture in them. You cannot induce rainfall in clouds if they are not having a moisture content in them. Secondly, the clouds, uh, there are special kinds of clouds that are required. They should be, you know, in vertical position rather than in horizontal position. So, all of these conditions should be favorable to induce artificial rain. Then cloud seeding requires the presence of moisture filled clouds, which are not always available or predictable. Okay. It is not foolproof. Artificial rains cannot be considered as a guaranteed solution. Definitely, you need to find permanent solution. See, temporarily, I can agree with the government. The government is having great intentions of conducting these artificial rains. But you need to, you know, find or take steps towards finding a permanent solution and this is what the Supreme Court has also observed in the Delhi pollution case that how long you are taking to find a permanent solution? Why are you not finding a permanent solution? Okay, so these were all of the advantage, disadvantages of artificial rain or the cloud seeding process. Now, let us talk about the cost of inducing artificial rains in Delhi. So, some of the more disadvantages of artificial rains are Effectiveness of cloud seeding differs from project to project. Okay, use of potentially harmful chemicals can affect plants. We are using potassium iodide or silver chloride or silver iodide. And silver iodide is known for pro or process, resulting process known as iodization. If taken in increased amount, it can definitely uh, induce this process known as iodization which in turn can impact the plants as well as the human life. It can cause you know sore throat, coughing, uh, breathing issues etc. So, silver iodide has this disadvantages as well. Okay. According to several reports, artificial rains might eventually change climatic patterns. Definitely. How if you ask me? If not regulated, control properly, cloud seeding may cause undesirable if not altogether destructive weather conditions such as flooding, storms, hail risks, etc. See, what happens is there are some areas that are naturally dry and if you induce artificial rain, they are not having the capacity to absorb the water. The soil is not capable enough to absorb the water and, and hence it can lead to flooding even. Change climatic conditions, how? Because you are inducing rains artificially. Definitely, it can impact the climate patterns and the climate change is already affecting our climatic change patterns or any violation of the natural uh, processes can definitely need, lead to change in climatic condition. So, these were the basic disadvantages of having artificial rains. Now, let us discuss the cost of inducing artificial rains in Delhi. So, an IIT Kanpur team as I have stated before also that the Delhi government is having a discussion with IIT's Kanpur's teams because they have successfully conducted six times artificial rains in the IIT Kanpur uh, premises and out of these six times they have been successful and that is why the government is in talks with IIT Kanpur's experts to induce artificial rains and it has informed the Delhi government that the estimated cost of the project will be around 1 lakh per square kilometer. So, artificial rains require an expensive amount of money 
and this is also a disadvantage of having artificial rain that it is going to cost you dearly around the total cost of the project likely predictable as per newspaper reports is around 13 crore rupees 13 crores so this is the effective cost of inducing artificial rains in delhi in phase 1 and phase 2 manner okay the team recommended that a pilot cloud seeding initiative covering 300 square kilometers may be carried out immediately in the first phase given the air pollution emergency prevailing in Delhi. So, Delhi at the onset of winter is, you know, tackling pollution views. The AQI often remains in the very poor or severe category. So, so the immediate solution that has cropped up in the mind of Delhi government is artificial rains. Now, this brings us to the moot question of our today's discussion that can artificial rain actually fix Delhi's AQI? The temporary answer is yes. Definitely it can fix Delhi's AQI in the short run because it will help in dispersal of the PM 2.5 particles or the dust particles. So yes, it is a good solution. But the solution has to be reviewed by the Honorable Supreme Court of India before actually they want it to conduct. So before conduction, the Supreme Court has to pass this solution. The Supreme Court in the Delhi pollution case has made very stern remarks against the Delhi government and they, they have stated that you are politically, you know, playing with the air pollution, you are passing on the buckle or you are, you know, blaming just central government or, you know, you are blaming everything, but you are not doing anything actually to reduce the air pollution. So, that is why the Supreme, the Delhi government has thought of this solution and it will definitely present its solution to the Supreme Court. And this solution has to be ratified by the Supreme Court before its conduction. So, if you ask me temporarily, yes, the cloud seeding technology is highly desirable in New Delhi because it has the potential to improve air quality by removing pollutants and particulate matter from the atmosphere through precipitation. But as I have stated this before also, you need to find a permanent solution to pollution views, views because at every year you will hear about pollution AQI, deteriorating AQI in Delhi almost in news in at the onset of winter so yes this can be a very effective temporary solution but yes we do need to find a permanent solution to end the air pollution woos in delhi this isn't the first time that cloud seeding has been suggested as possible solution for air pollution in delhi but if we talk about india definitely this is the very first time that any kind of this solution is you know being suggested to combat pollution we have suggested artificial rains before to combat drought like conditions but if you talk about pollution yes this is the first time that india or delhi will be experiencing like uh, uh, artificial rain to combat pollution certain countries like uae china usa artificial rains have been conducted very successfully so let us see what happens and how these rains will actually be conducted and what is the resultant uh, solution will it uh, actually reduce the AQI or not or will it actually fix the toxic air of Delhi or not. So with this we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion. We have seen what is artificial rain. We have also uh, analyzed its benefits, disadvantages, cost of conducting artificial rain and we have also tried to find an answer to our moot question for today that can artificial rain actually fix the toxic air in Delhi. So, now let us discuss a practice question for your prelims examination. So, the question is, cloud seeding is an artificial way to induce mouse moisture in the clouds through chemicals so as to cause a rainfall. Which of the following chemicals are dumped onto the clouds to bring rain shower? Your uh, options are, option 1 is silver iodide, option 2 is dry ice, option 3 is potassium iodide and option 4 is liquid propane. Select the correct option from the codes given below. Your code A is 1 only, B is 2 and 3 only, C is 3 and 4 only and D is 1, 2, 3, 4. Kindly drop your answers in the comment box below. Now, let us uh, discuss and analyze a practice question for your mains examination. So, the question is, explain the opportunities and challenges associated with artificial rain. Firstly, you will explain what are artificial rains. You will discuss the opportunities associated with this or the benefits of inducing artificial rains. 
then we will discuss the challenges as i have discussed in my discussion today the disadvantages the costs are unreasonably high it will disturb the natural climatic patterns and you can conclude holistically that if you look at a city like delhi that reels under pollution every year at the onset of winter season this can be an effective uh, temporary solution but we do need to work towards having a permanent solution for our air pollution woes so you can conclude very holistically i hope this session was insightful for you if you like the today's video kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates before parting ways i would like to uh, wish you all a very happy bhai dooj i hope you had a happy and a safe diwali thank you